Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you on another Let's Play episode of Nico Jishi Senpai's Path. So, y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chan, you are up and let's go. Alrighty. <clears throat> hmm, but why can you suddenly see my real form? Also, those two behind you. I am a guardian tiger serving Meizu, and I have watched over Liao ever since he was a child. I believe you would describe me as his... childhood sweetheart, right? Well, like creepy stalker! Rukai, Clouded Leopard. Liao, when did you start hanging with these spirits? Just today! It all happened in the blink of an eye! Even you turned out to be one of them! No, I... Ooh, excuse me. I, I came to visit you today because I, I need to ask you for a favor. Really? I never would have guessed. Do you know how valuable your ability is, Liao? I know this is abrupt, but you're the only one I can rely on. You're my only hope. You're my only hope, Liao. <laughs> Save me, Liao. <laughs> Alright, so what do you do? What do you need exactly? I'm actually a guardian tiger of a small temple in Miali. You're a guardian tiger? Impossible. Whatever, I know it's weird when you don't need to, but when you, you don't need to tell me. It may be rare to have a, a, a leopard cat as a guardian tiger, but I am. If you still question me, go ask my Futagong, and not me. After all, it's not like I signed up for this. And going back to the point, our temple is now being abandoned. If no one takes care of my temple, my Futagong will... By then I'll be forced out, made to live like some stray cat. I don't want that to happen. So, Liao, can you help me restore the temple, please? If you want any compensation, I'll do whatever you want. Wait, stray cat? I thought you weren't a cat. That's not the point here! You can't have him. Liao lives under my care. There's no reason for him to serve in any other temple. If he must, he may help you, but Liao still has to return home. Wait, when did I ever decide to go home? If you can help me... Liao, please, can you lend me your hand? I beg you! I've gone through a lot to find you, and perhaps... For hundreds of years, nobody else with your ability will appear. Let alone in time to save my temple. So your temple's in Miali, right? Well... Well, as great as it sounds, reviving a temple is easier said than done. I... Liao, go to Wutai. He can see because of me. Hey, Ping Tung is still a lot further away. Plead however you want, but it's Liao's power. He can do whatever he wishes with it. No, me. No talking. All of you. Just listen to me. All three of the big cats stopped, their eyes fixed on me. I don't want to go to Miali, Ping Tung, or back home. I just want to study hard, dance, spend time with my friends, graduate, and finally get a city job. I don't want to get involved with any of this, please. But Liao, you have a rare gift. I never asked for it. You can't just force me to do what you want. Liao, calm down. We can talk about it later. I won't make any promises. Well, you heard it. That's it for today. As for now, please leave. I stay. What? Won't give up. You're quite the stubborn one. Then I'll stay too. Huh? If he gets to stay, I do too. It's only fair. After all, whoever wins the owl gets over gets his help, right? Wait, I never promised that. In short, we're all uninvited. So the owl, wanna eat dinner together? Disregarding my protest, Senpai makes himself at home, plopping himself down on my table, digging into his plastic bag and taking out the Lume, ready to eat it like he owns the place. Please! Stop bothering me! Unable to hold myself back, I shouted out in frustration. Hey! Quiet down! What time do you think it is? My neighbor's ground-shaking roar thunders through the halls. Through the walls. Crap! The I should inform you that people cannot hear us talking. To them, it would be no different than you talking to yourself. If you are excessively loud, they may end up believing you to be some lunatic. You don't have to tell me that part. Regardless, you can see how tiny my room is. All of you couldn't stay here even if you tried. There's no changing my mind on this, so please, can you all just leave me alone? Even if you all are adorable beasts, but you can't... I let my secret out. Please don't notice. Please don't notice. Leo, I know I know what you want to say, but you may not give in just because of your unique tastes. Furthermore, I am here, and I will not let them disturb you. But, Liao, even if you don't want to, you'll still see me at dance club tomorrow. One second, y'all. It is, in fact, water time. There's no way you can just quit the club and avoid me, right? Damn it, Senpai's right. I love going to dance club, and it means so much to me. There's no way I just leave just to avoid him, and he knows it. Senpai, you're so cunning. 
Heh, not really. It's not a compliment. Alrighty, since the owl will see me anyways, it won't make any difference if I stay here. That's not how it works. You can still go home, and I and I still can't fit this many people in my room. That guardian tiger is definitely not going anywhere, and I don't see that leopard guy leaving anytime soon, right? It'd just be unfair if, if I didn't get to live with you, too. What do you mean by live with me? And other people can see you. What would people think if you suddenly started living here? You can just say we're in a relationship. No way! Granted, within the club, it's no secret that me and Senpai are gay. Senpai himself is quite the charmer and cute to boot. His potential suitors alone could fill a whole classroom. Still, I don't want to get into a relationship all of a sudden. It's not like it's not like I really have feelings for him or anything. Well, there'll be no problem as long as we don't go home together. We have different class schedules as well. Or you could even just tell people you're seeing me. You're seeing me home since it'll be it'll, it'll be it'll be fine. Even so, it, no way. Okay, let's go about this another way. If this leopard guy leaves, Senpai wouldn't have a reason to stay. Let's ask him instead. Um, Mr. Clouded Leopard, you, do you really have to stay? C could you please? I stay. Uh, I stay. Can you please listen to me? I will not leave you to anyone else. Uh, I can tell I'm blushing right now. Does this guy even know what he's saying? How do you get so fluent all of a sudden? Um, it's just that at the moment, no matter what, I can't fit all three of you in this room. Not a problem. Of course it's a problem. Um, Liao, did you forget? They're spirits. They don't need to take up any real space. Even if you can f even if you can feel them, it's not like it's gonna get crowded. They could just float in the air or even stay inside the desk or something. There's no way I will stay inside a desk. I am a god after all. I have my pride. Why do you want me to why do you want them to stay? So I have a reason to stay with you. Senpai, you have no shame. Heh, <laughs> not really. Again, that's not a compliment. I just want to stay with you, Liao. Please, don't be so mean to me. I came all the way to visit you. If you're still unsatisfied, it's not like I can't compensate you with my body. You don't have to do that. I don't care. Regardless, I'm exhausted and actually need to take a shower. I'll deal with this later. Enough is enough. I rush into the bathroom and slam the door and turn on the shower. What's wrong with these guys? I mean, beastmen are cute. But to have a bunch of them pop into my life all at once? It's just too much for me to deal with right now. I'm trying to calm myself once again, I close my eyes for a moment. Warm water flows over me, consoling my mind and soothing my drained body. I can't say I haven't thought about it before, about beastmen being real, about having one close to me. Who would have thought? Perhaps somewhere out there, even if only for a day, someone would do just would do just about anything to be me right now. Things are never that easy. Putting the two that putting the two that want that want my help aside, that guardian tiger, has he really been with me ever since I was born? I have no reason to not believe him, but if I did keep him around, would I ever truly be free from my family? The whole reason I came to Taipei, the whole reason I started college was to get away from all that, and dancing is just a big waste of time to them. Second, y'all, it is water time. If I went back home now... Come on, what year is this? Who wants to be a Jeton? Now that I think about it, the other two options aren't much better. Restoring Senpai's temple means being in charge of it. Otherwise, how would you draw people in, knocking on doors with a fancy pamphlet asking, Do you have a moment to talk about our lord and tigers? And there's the other one, asking me to move to Wutai. Sure, it's not as stale as being some temple priest, but the thought of living by myself in some tribe and rural ping tongue, I have things I want to do with my life. One, I want to help them, but it's not like I can just up and agree to change my life for these guys. No, I have to get rid of them by any means necessary, even if they're adorable beast men. With the warm water having helped collect my thoughts, I finally decide to kick them out. But when I get out of the shower, I realize I've made a massive mistake. I forgot to bring a change of clothes. Namely, normally, being the only one in the apartment, I can just walk out naked and get, get them whenever I want. But right now, with the three of them waiting in my room, there's no longer an option. That tiger may have seen my naked body before, but I can't say the same about the other two. I believe you considered the clothes I wore today. They're all damp and sweaty. I just had a shower, so no thanks. So how am I going to do this? Um, Senpai? Without any other options, I shot through the door for help. Liao, you okay? Yeah, I just forgot to bring some clothes in. Can you grab some for me? Honestly, just grab anything from my closet. I'll sort it out through from, from there. Closet? Let me see. Hmm, where is it? I wait for a while, but Senpai doesn't respond. All I can hear is him vaguely humming along. Senpai, have you, you found it yet? Nope, can't find it. How could you not find it? There's only one closet in my room. 
I really can't find it, Liao. Why don't you just come out? We're all guys here. We'd only end up seeing a glimpse at most. There's no way he can't find it. He's absolutely messing with me. Senpai, stop teasing me, please. I just need you to bring me some clothes. Well, Liao, I really can't find anything at all, but maybe if you agree to let me stay, I'll have more time to take a careful look around. Damn it, I know you're doing this on purpose, Senpai. What? Nah, I was just saying, saying since you have to wait anyway, why don't you just think about... Hey, what are you doing? I'm only messing with him. I'm, I'll help him in a second. Huh? What's going on? I stare around, thoroughly confused, as the bathroom door suddenly opens, revealing Leopard holding a pair of my shorts. What? I thought the door was locked. I hid behind it quickly, carefully taking the shorts from Leopard without exposing any of my bare skin to the three big cats in the other room. Hmm. After handling me, after handing me my shorts, he leaves. I shut the door firmly behind him and slump against it, my heart pounding as I slide to the floor. Did he just see my naked body? Who the heck just... Who the heck would just fling the bathroom door wide open to pass clothes to someone inside? Wouldn't it render the whole bring me clothes because I can't get out thing utterly pointless? Seeing me didn't even phase him in the slightest. Is it because he's a spirit and doesn't care? Seems plausible. Well, even if he was a bit forward about it, at, at least he got some... Uh, at least he got... At least he got me out of that situation. I look at my shorts how haplessly. No shirt, but that will have to do. It's better than going out naked, I guess. I put on the shorts and head out to the bathroom. Heh, <laughs> sorry, Liao. I was just joking about all that. I was just about to get your get your clothes for you. I asked you, were you little shit? Ignoring Senpai, I take my shirt from the closet. I usually only wear shorts in here, but naturally I couldn't do so in front of them. Um, Liao, are you angry at me? I'm sorry I didn't. Not really, I'm just tired. I was already exhausted when I came back, not to mention all the trouble you three gave me. I really could use some sleep now. Hey, but you still haven't had any food yet. Senpai raised his half-eaten bowl of stew. He really wants me to use the same pair of chopsticks? That's like an indirect kiss. I, I don't really care for it at the moment. Aw, oh, but I bought it for you. Enough. Will you just let the boy sleep? Quit annoying him or he will kick you out for real. Aw, oh, I got it. Then, Liao, why don't we sleep together? Unlike them, I do have a physical body that can't float around in the air. Uh, Senpai, I still don't know what's going on with you. Before I awakened, you were just an ordinary guy. Now all of a sudden, you're like this. Well, as you said, it was caused by your awakening. After all, I'm just possessing Yang, Shi Sh Yang Shu Shi right now. No wonder I found your sense strange. So you're not actually Yan Shu Shi Senpai. You could say I'm not. However, for lack of a better term, I am him in every way for his, from his personality to his memories. There's no need to treat me any differently from how you would treat him. It's like, you know, water time. Mm-hmm. When I leave, I'll return his body to him. Don't worry, I've done everything like he would have done, and at most he'll only have vague memories of what's happened. So you only give him back his body only so you only give him back his body when you want to? Isn't that some kind of consciousness kidnapping? Don't get me wrong, I didn't mean it like that, but if it makes you more willing to help, I don't mind keeping his body. I can't help but bury my hand in my face. <sighs> he couldn't have missed in my point any further if he tried. Well, I suppose I could let you use the bed, but are the other two really okay with it? I mean, floating in the air doesn't seem very comfortable. Even though I don't want them to stay, the warm host inside me can't simply leave my guests with nowhere to sleep. He stares at the bed intensely. That won't do. Liao and I usually sleep on the bed, and there is no way I will relinquish it to you. You are a mere kitten. There should be enough space for you to sleep in the corridor. Hey, what do you mean by kitten? And I'm the only person, I'm the only one who has a body. It doesn't matter where you sleep. If I sleep out there, I'll could just catch a cold. Then I see no reason why you should stay in here for the night. Oh, Liao, won't you stand up for me, please? Uh, why would I have to stand up for him? Wait, didn't the tiger just say something odd? What about, hey, about what you were saying, I'm um, tiger, so you usually sleep with me? Of course. Wait, since when has this been happening? Well, ever since you came to Taipei. So even though I couldn't see it before this whole time, I've been sleeping in the same bed as a big tiger man? Sh should I be happy? In short, I sleep with Liao every night. There's no reason for me to give either of you that spot. Fend for yourself. But you don't even need a bed. Please let me sleep with you, Liao. There's at the bed intensely. She's Senpai. All right, Senpai's the only one here with a real body. I'm not about to let him catch a cold. Yeah, I knew I could trust your hospitality, Liao. I didn't say you could sleep on the bed yet. That's what you mean, right? Right. Thank you so, so much! Senpai jumps onto my bed before I even have time to say anything. 
Tun, tun. Sorry, Tiger. After all, Senpai's got... I know. He's got a real body, does he? It's not my business. He walks to the bookshelf and just suddenly disappears. Did he just go back to his statue? Okay, as surprising as it is to see something just disappear right in front of my eyes, he really is a god. Um, Tiger? I can hear him speak back from the statue. I'm fine, so you're gonna sleep with him, are you? I don't have a bed, so I'm getting back inside the statue. I'm really sorry. As I just said, I'm fine. Doesn't sound like he's fine, but as it is, there's nothing I can do to help. I sigh and sit on the, sit on the corner of my bed. Mr. Leopard, what about you? I find a way. Heh. <laughs> Leopard's eyes peruse around my room, seemingly meeting with my desk, and ceremoniously he proceeds to lie down on top of it, keyboard, books, and all. Uh, I prepare to stop him. The desk is pretty messy, and worst case scenario, he would break. He could break my keyboard. I hesitate. Regardless of being laid upon, the contents of my desk are unfazed. Some of them even look like they're phasing through his body. Right, he's spiritual, so he can't really touch anything. But he got those pants. For, but he got those pants for me earlier, so that logic doesn't work. Strange. What's wrong, Liao? Oh, I know. It's because he's not he, he's able to not touch some stuff, right? Yeah, how'd you guess? Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!